Welcome back everyone, it's so great to have you here. So this is the forest behind our home. As you can see, it's a very calming and appeasing environment with a wonderful biodiversity. As we walk in nature regularly, not a single day goes by without us discovering a new variety of plant or berries or mushroom. It keeps us in a constant state of wonder and delight. We find that there is a lot to be fascinated about in the woods. So this is where we bring you today, in the forest up on the mountain and also at our home where we spent our entire week cutting firewood for the cold season to come. Come along with us and enjoy the journey! While Travis is working outside, I prepare our tea for the day. So this is made with three medicinal herbs that we have foraged around our home. So there is some wild raspberry leaves and on top of that I added some dry horsetail and dry nettle which is full of silica which is very good for your teeth, your nails, your bones and your hair. And the raspberry leaves actually detoxify your body. So we're going to infuse that all day and this evening we will strain it and make a nice cool iced tea with it. We also love to make our own homemade sprouts. So sometimes we have microgreens. In this case, it was some mung beans that we sprouted for three days and this is the result. So this was about maybe, I don't know, a cup and a half of dry beans, but look at the result. <laughs> it's very abundant and this is so full of vitality. It's like having a little garden at home. So we do the mung beans, we do alfalfa, some clover. We also love to do the lentils. We've tried sprouting also chickpeas, but we haven't had so much success with that so far but these are one of our faves they're a little bit bitter but mm, they bring some crunch to a salad or we very often put them in smoothies also it's yummy and full of nutrients we've got some adrenal snacks here so it's celery medjool date and apples
getting dark. You flirting on me. I'm flirting on you. Oh, tricking Wow, the image, wow. <laughs> How do you want it? In the, um, parallel to the parallel oh. to the balcony. Say again. Parallel to the balcony. Do you want me to bring it over here more for now? Because we're gonna load there. <laughs> So the balcony is about to fall apart, so Travis started to break it down. Oh, sorry, Ray. 
Bears beer. This is still pretty solid, so I want to keep this pole and the post next to it or underneath it. And, uh, and then I'm going to reuse this material and build the deck back out so we have more firewood storage along this run underneath this ledge. Oh, well, that's a good idea. So, me, yeah, I'm going to go cooking. some stir fry Sichuan noodles, vegetable. Travis is testing for the first time, so how is it, my love? Mm. Good, you like it? Mm. You can add sesame seeds on it. Merci pour un vraiment délicieux rupa. Oh, ça fait plaisir, mon chéri. So this is about that goes home and this is what I find this morning, which happens every once in a while. It's a deer's leg. So probably brought there by a mountain lion. And this is home at the end of the road. So that's pretty close. They are wrong, but we don't see them. So this morning I went to see if there was any central because we had hard rains three days ago. Uh, well, for three days and now it's about two, three days ago. And now we have very warm temperatures. So that's a good moment for mushrooms to pop out, especially that it got so dry before the rain. But there's nothing at our central spot. It's completely empty. Uh, I'll go back. We will go back later with Travis to see if we can find honey mushrooms, which is a cousin of the shiitake mushrooms and we really enjoy them and normally they grow abundantly because they rot the trees and the forest and they just spread from one tree to the other so last year we found like hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of them so we're gonna go see that later and if it's not today maybe tomorrow because uh, that's the time of the year that they normally pop out hello everyone so we're back 
It's the end of the summer here, so we've been working a lot around the house. So now that we have cut all this wood, like all these long logs, now we're like cutting them shorter, chopping them, uh, splitting them, stacking them. So it's lots of work. So we've been spending lots of hours on that, which feels very good. Also, we have a trip coming at the beginning of October. So we really have to wrap up everything and make sure that all our wood is prepared for the winter because we never know in which kind of temperature we'll come back into. So. Yeah, living up here for 20 years, I've seen snow in June, July and August, as crazy as that sounds. And so um, coming into the fall time, you always want to be well ahead of time and uh, not find ourselves, you know, like last year, harvesting uh, firewood and gathering it uh, in the middle of the wind and the snow and things. Mm -hmm. And also there is some work that needs to be done around the house, which is Travis' mm -hmm. specialty. is much more skilled than me when it comes to construction and building. Yeah, I'm a custom carpenter by trade, so I have all the tools and uh, all of the skill set to be able to take on these types of projects and, and actually really enjoy it. Don't have any desire to do it professionally and haven't for a long time but i i really enjoy to uh have the opportunity to do building projects for ourselves and uh, along with friends whenever uh they need a little assistance as well yeah me i'm learning that's my part right now i'm the mm -hmm. assistant yeah i've got a really good left-hand woman <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So otherwise we are at the end of the summer and like there is this thing in the air somehow we kind of feel because here the temperature can drop very quickly so we are basically like a couple of days from September and it's like if we are preparing for winter already and with the end of the summer comes also uh, kind of another phase of the mushroom season because some mushrooms really are coming out during the summer and some come out during more like fall time so we've been exploring around but it has been a little dry so we'll see yeah we'll see how is the season at this point mm -hmm. so thank you all for being there it means a lot to us and we're so appreciative of all your comments and just your likes and your subscriptions and everything so please stay tuned because there is much more content to come and we love you guys. Thank you so much for being there. Yeah. I love you all. Appreciate you all and all your support and please stay tuned. Yeah. Say so. Say so. <laughs>
morning, y'all. Good morning. So we're gonna go see if there are any any mushrooms in the forest. Maybe some uh, chanterelle. Maybe some amanita, muscaria. Let's see. Let's see. But we'll probably find some smiles for sure. Yeah, and happiness. Mm, lots of joy. This is the deer's legs. <laughs> so we found some puff balls. Very fresh, perfect for consumption. It's a moose skull. Elk. It's an elk? Yep. It's not a moose? Oh no, it was a moose here. Right? It's one. a moose. Yeah, it's a younger moose. Yeah, all in the forest behind our home. Nice. So this is our nettle spot. It's a little wetland. These are very good for tea and when they are young we can put them in soups also.